if you want to use Google Gemini 3, the most advanced model yet for coding, and you want to use it right now in your projects, this video is for you. If you haven't been living under a rock for the past 24 hours, you will have noticed that Google have released their latest AI model, Gemini 3, and it is getting a lot of attention and for good reason. Gemini 3 has completely blown away Anthropic's Claude, which has previously been classed as probably the most advanced model in terms of coding, as well as OpenAI's 5.1 and all the other AI models. In this tutorial, I'm gonna very quickly walk you through how you can get started with using Gemini 3 in the command line so that you can use it to code using Cursor. First of all, we want to jump into Cursor. And what I've done here is I've actually opened up a new window with my project and you can see here on the left-hand side, we've got the project and all the files. And if you can't see this terminal screen automatically, there is a button up here at the top, which you can just click on, and that will toggle it on or off. Uh, and you don't really need to worry about all the other windows and things. And if there's something in here or not, it doesn't really matter. We literally just need a terminal window. You can obviously install this straight in via your terminal, or if you've got a terminal client like iTerm, you can use that instead. However, I like to do everything in cursor. And all we need to do is type npm install dash g at google slash gemini dash cli at latest. Hit return. And after a few seconds, it should say that it's added the packages as required. Once that's succeeded, we literally just type Gemini, hit return, and you get this very cool looking Gemini browser. It asks you, do you want to connect cursor to Gemini? And the answer is absolutely yes, we do. And what we're now going to do is log in with Google. This will then take you into an authorized screen, which is off camera right now, but I've basically just pressed yes, continue through, logged into my Google account. And although you can see here, it says no installer is available for cursor, please install the Gemini CLI companion. It actually does still work. It, what it just doesn't do is it doesn't allow you to use the cursor primary focus, but if you stay in the terminal like we are now, then you have absolutely no issues whatsoever. In order to get Gemini 3, what we need to do is hit stroke settings, hit return. And you can see at the top here, we've got preview features. What I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to tab to change the focus and I'm gonna choose system settings and tab again. And I'm gonna choose preview features and hit true. Then I'm gonna press R to exit and apply the changes now. And then I'm gonna go back into Gemini. So now that we've done that, what you can see here is we have got Gemini 3 is now enabled, which is exactly what we want to see. And we can see it's auto here. And then we've got pro, Gemini 3 pro preview, which is exactly what we want. So let's go down, turn that on. And now we are coding in Gemini 3.